Sit back and enjoy another step-by-step -step building tutorial. This one is for the elevator workshop. What is going on geeks? My name is Unite the Clans aka the Bob Ross of ARC and this may be the most requested tutorial I've ever had. About a year ago I built this, roughly this design, and I just showed it off. I thought it was cool, it was an idea that had been bouncing around my head to build a workshop around an elevator. And that video has been sitting out there in the ether for a year and it's gathered a lot of comments from people saying, hey, please show us how to build this. The original one had four giant vaults. Those have obviously changed and we have a new vault design in here on the main floor and uh, given it a very cool paint scheme. The same paint scheme as last time with forest green, tan, brown and sky and as you can see the elevator will take you once again up to a second floor this time we've got all of our crafting up here check it out and then if we head to the very top we will see another little bedroom so a uh, little spot to sleep a little spot to hang out over here and then a fully functioning greenhouse all right guys, so let's dive straight into this tutorial. We are gonna build this thing together step by step. I will pin this to the top of the comments, but these are the materials you are gonna need, including an elevator platform. And these are our coordinates. We are on the center map at 64.030.7. All right, let's start building. So you're gonna start with some stone foundations. Now we are gonna build three off our original foundation in either direction, so we will be seven wide, and we're gonna build a seven by four platform. All right, so once you've got your seven by four, it should look like this. The next step is with some metal fence foundations, and we are gonna entirely encircle this four by seven. We are gonna put one on every edge, and it's gonna look like this. So from here, we are going to add more stone foundations. We are going to add a two by three centered on what will be the back of your building. So decide now which way you want this thing to face and then a one by three where you want the entrance. So this is what you're looking like now, a four by seven encircled by metal fence foundations with a two by three at the back and a one by three on the front. Pillars are next. We're going to be putting them on the corners uh, and you're going to build five high. And this is the final height for the pillars. Um, I want to build them all in one go just so you guys can get a good look at what we're doing. So put that on all four corners like so. And then we're going to be adding some in the center of the back wall. Now this is going to frame in our uh, elevator track. So let's go ahead and put them here. And here, and these ones you are actually going to build eight high. These go to the very top of the building. So that's what things are looking like. Four going five high on the corners, two going eight high in the center at the back. And it's now time for this elevator track. Now this can be tricky. I had it wanting to switch directions on me. So play with it until you get it the way you want it. This is expensive, so be careful. All right, and you're gonna build this a total of six elevator platform tracks, whatever you call them, elevator tracks high. And it should look like that. All right, and now a medium elevator platform. You could probably get away with the small, but I like the way the medium one looks. And when you place it, it will be hidden underneath the ground. To test this out and make sure it works, we're gonna be placing a generator. And I like to intersect it right here with the elevator track. It makes it look like it's part of the machinery and it helps fill the gap right there. All right, now we need to wire this thing in. So two vertical wires going up, and this will mostly be hidden, so it isn't that important. You can add an outlet on top, and you should get wires running to each of the elevator uh, tracks. Now we're going to fill this Jenny up with some gasoline, and we're going to turn it on, and we're going to test. All right, electricity is running. The wire is yellow, and we want to test and make sure this works. Boom. So there you go, guys. This is going to be the heart of this building. We'll bring it back down. And when it's at the bottom, it's hidden completely underneath. I love that feature of this. All right, guys, it's now time for some gates. So on the front of your building, um, on either side of that one by three that we added, we're gonna be adding in dino gates. Eventually, metal walls will go in here. So decide which way you want the dino gates to face. For me, if I'm standing on the outside of the building, they face the direction I want them to. 
And we've got one on either side on the front. Let's go do that on the back as well. So here we go, guys. We now have a dyno gate on the back across from that one, and we'll add one right here. These are the regular stone dyno gates. This is a completely vanilla build. You do not need structures plus or any mods to get it looking this way. So wanna, two on the front, two on the back, and we're gonna add one on each side centered on this four wide wall. Should be looking like this with the pillars extending one higher than the gates. And we'll add one here as well. Once again, looking at it from the outside of the building, and this is it. So we have now added the framework for our first floor. All right, guys, now this is a painted building design. And instead of saving it all for the end, we are gonna paint as we go. Everything here that is stone is going to get a coat of brown paint. So paint your foundations, paint your dyno gate frames, and paint your pillars all in brown regions one through six. And it should look like that. And this is kind of cool too. You can paint the elevator tracks. This didn't used to be a thing. Uh, it totally is now. So those are going to get a coat of brown paint. And I think, let's kick on the Jenny here. Uh, and we'll bring up the, um, the elevator platform. Come on. Stop it. And let's see. Do you take paint as well? You do. Very fantastic. Okay. Perfect. So that is how we're looking. Check it out. Everything we have built so far has gotten a thick coat of brown paint. I'm loving it. Uh, it's now time to start playing with some metal walls. All right, so your metal walls are going to be placed here, and you're going to want to find the outer snap point. We do have fence foundations everywhere, so you're going to get multiple snap points when you try and place these walls. Choose the outer one. You want the walls to go uh, beyond that little strip of stone on the inside of the gate and come right to the edge of the foundation. And we're gonna be adding it uh, inside the dyno gates and right here as well, in the space on the side in between the dyno gate and the pillars. All right, and that is how things are looking. Now here, you will not be adding anything, guys. So there are some tricky areas, and the one spot that is giving me a hard time is in between the dyno gate and the pillar on the side. So you can afford to remove that fence foundation. Once you do, you will only have one snap point and you should have no trouble building up if snap points are giving you trouble. All right, I'll probably speed that up for you guys just so we can get through this quickly. This is how we're looking with metal walls in place. Leave those two on either side of the elevator uh, empty. We will be adding greenhouse glass there eventually. This is how we look. So we are gonna continue our paint job. Now with forest green paint, and this time only region one. You want these um, little bolts and the metal strapping on there not to get a coat of green paint. You want those there for contrast. So go ahead and paint everything. Metal in forest green, just region one. And that's how we look in. How good is this place coming together already? I love this paint scheme, I gotta be honest. We're gonna take it up a notch. Now you could totally leave this uh, the other parts of the metal walls unpainted and it's gonna look good, but we're taking tan paint now. We're adding it to region two, three, four, five, and six, everywhere that the green paint isn't. And it's a very slight difference. It is not a drastic change, as you can see, but I think it helps fit in better with the color palette that we get from the brown. So let's go ahead and do that everywhere. And this is how it looks with the tan paint on those little detail pieces for the metal walls. I'm happy with how this build is coming together. Take a look. Is that not a rich, warm color palette? All right, geeks. Now we are entering in uh, some greenhouse glass. You will need greenhouse glass doors and walls for this stage. Um, you're gonna add doors, and because we have these fence foundations here, this may be difficult. Try and find the snap point that lines up with your walls, and we're gonna put doors on either side of this elevator track and build up to a total of four walls high with walls. And that's what we got. Check it out. Now, enter our fourth color. 
This is sky blue. And a lot of the greenhouse glass is going, almost all the greenhouse glass, to be honest, is going to get the sky blue. Um, and this is our four color color scheme. And if you're doing something different, choose four colors. We've got brown, tan, forest green, and sky blue, and I love it. Let's back up. Take a look. See how they all work together? Yeah, just wait. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. Um, and now we got to do something with this hideous elevator track. We can't put walls where the actual elevator track is, but we can hide the rest of this. Like I did on the original version of the elevator workshop. We're going to do it with stone. So a little stone door frame right there on the back. You could do it on either side and then stone walls. And once again, build up to a total of four walls high. We are just doing the first floor here in the first segment of the video. And then we'll take a break. So that is how we're looking. Uh, this is going to get a coat of brown paint. All six regions. Do it up. And guys, before we get working on the second floor, I think I want to take a second and shout out a couple of my Patreon supporters. This time, it is Anagi and Sage, or Sage Dreamer. Both those guys support me on Patreon. They play on the Geeks Arc server. Fellas, thank you for the support. And guys, I think this first floor is actually done. So if you haven't done it yet, click the like button. And when we come back, we are going to take on the second floor together, step by step. And welcome back, guys. So let's get started on the second floor of the elevator workshop. To do that, you are going to need 27 uh, stone ceilings. We're going to place these everywhere but directly in front of the elevator. Speed that up for you guys again. So don't place one there. Let's finish the job. One, two, three. In the original version, an elevator could, uh, you could, while standing on the elevator, you could pass through a solid ceiling. You can no longer do that. It will knock you off. So this is how we're doing it. Now, we need to add in more pillars. So on the second floor, uh, you may need to use fence foundations. For some reason, I don't. Um, you're going to want to center one here on top of the dino gate. All right, guys. Now, in this spot, I am going to need fence foundations. Um, I'm able to snap it in some locations. In others, for some reason, I am not. So let's use more of the metal fence foundations. Stone would look good here as well. And even though we only need one, we're going to do two, just for balance. Uh, and then you should be able to get a fence foundation. If you chose the outer snap point, uh, the pillar should come uh, beyond the edge of the gate frame. So um, on the sides, we are going to keep our pillars one high. Here on the front and back, we are going to make them two high. And that's forming the shape for a balcony. So this is how it should be looking. Now, time to get out the spray painter. Um, up to this point, all the stone has been painted in brown, but everything we've just done is going to get a different color of paint for contrast. More of the tan that we're using as the accent on our metal walls, so paint all six regions for the pillars and for the second floor ceilings in tan. So it's going to look like that. You'll get a contrast with the brown of the gate frame, and let's do the ceilings. They are going to look like that. It's going to be brighter and provide more contrast. All right, guys. So we do have some adjustments to make. In some areas, the pillars did not extend past the edge of the gate frame. See how good it looks there on the right? On the left, the pillar is inside the gate. Um, so what we're going to do is, I think, see, it looks good on the left. It's just this one. And I have one on the front that looks weird as well. So I think what we're going to need to do is, even though I didn't need fence foundations to do this, we're going to add in some fence foundations to get it just where we want it. All right, so uh, this can be tricky, but you want to find the outer snap point. Once again, using metal, and once again, stone would work if you don't like the look of the metal. And now, find the snap point, yaus, that looks like that. Very good. I'm impressed. Let's get some tan paint on this baby. And remember to go too high here. And that is how we're looking. Second floor coming together. Once again, starting with the pillars, and now it's time for some walls. All right, so metal door frames are what we need for this next step. And because I have this fence foundation here, um, it might give me multiple snap points. We're going to do a metal wall with a slope leading to the inside. Uh, sorry, metal door frame with a slope leading to the inside. And we'll do that. So slope left over there, slope right, right here. And we'll go do the same thing on the back. One right here one right here. And you're beginning to see the shape that our balcony will take. All right, so metal railings are going to continue 
this uh, balcony. Uh, because we have the fence foundations there, I'm going to start here where there is no fence foundation and then make sure I line up with it like a so. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so it is time for uh, metal walls. We're going to place some just over the gate frame and we're going to go too high. And um, once again, be careful of where that fence foundation is to make sure you don't have snap point issues. And we'll do the same thing on the back. So leaving the space right next to the elevator platforms and over the entrances for greenhouse glass. All right, should look something like this. All right, time for this greenhouse glass. So go three across and then go three across hanging below. So this is gonna frame in the entrance and three across at the top. Your second floor is two walls high. Um, we'll do the same thing here at the back. Once again, framing in that elevator platform and giving us a great view of the waterfalls. So more greenhouse glass comes into play right here. We'll do door frames on either side of uh, this wall and we'll fill in the rest of the space with greenhouse walls. Then we'll go repeat this process on the other side. So a couple of door frames to match that side and we'll do greenhouse walls to frame in the, the second floor here. So there you go, second floor completely framed in and we ain't done with the greenhouse glass. So it's gonna form the, uh, the awning, the sort of top of this balcony with a sloped greenhouse glass roof. Gonna look something like this, we'll do it on both sides, like so. All right, now more stone walls. You could have done this originally, guys, but I'm building this a floor at a time, so it's easy to follow along. Um, and we'll go ahead and build that up. It should get a coat of the dark brown paint as well. Um, but it's not the only thing. So this is how we're looking. I think it's time to get some paint on this second floor, all right? Uh, so dark brown paint, whatever it is, not dark, just brown paint. <laughs> we're gonna start with all six regions and we're gonna do these metal railings. And they're gonna come out very, very dark. All right, and now we go back to the stone walls that frame in our elevator track. Uh, they also frame in some wiring and eventually some plumbing. Now some sky blue. Uh, all six regions, I think I just showed you there, and we'll do the greenhouse glass here on the back, continuing the line of greenhouse glass we have from below. All right, now we're gonna do these walls on the front. I may tweak this paint scheme as we go, guys. I can't remember how it's gonna look best. Um, so the ones on the front we may play with, you can leave them unpainted for now, but these ones on the sides definitely go all sky blue. And this is how it looks, check it out. So work in progress still, uh, we need to continue this. We need to continue adding paint. Let's get out the green. And what we're gonna do is all six regions for these sloped greenhouse roofs. We'll go all the way across here, and I think this will be a nice contrast to the sky blue. Provides a little bit of a different look uh, on the greenhouse glass, and that's why I mentioned we may may play around with how we do the, the front, these sort of front nine or 12 that I'm painting right now. I think that's gonna work for us. Let's keep playing around. All right, we've done the other side. And now we need to go back just to region one and we need to do all of the metal walls. And then once that's done, we are gonna do region two through six with the tan paint to do the little highlights and the little details. All right, so back to uh, the tan. We'll go regions two through six and we'll paint everything. We'll get that slightly faded gold color on all the bolts and straps and this is how it looks. All right, nice contrast with the stone. We've got that tan stone intersecting with the brown and a nice contrast with the sky blue and the green when it comes to the metal and the glass. The second floor is pretty much done, guys. I think it's time we take another break. If you haven't done it yet, leave a like on this video. And if you're enjoying it, think about sharing it. Tell your friends. These tutorials help you build better. Let the world know. That's why I make them. BRB. All right, guys, welcome back. And it's time to work on the third and final floor. Thank you for hanging with me through so much of this video. This is gonna be one of the longest tutorials I've ever done. So your patience is very much appreciated. So this is a four by five. Uh, and so you're gonna need 19 uh, for this uh, segment because we're gonna once again, leave a spot right over that elevator platform right here. And we're gonna use that to get up and get down. Uh, I think I've got the generator turned off, but we'll test now that we've got this floor in place how the uh, elevator looks when it comes up and comes down. Generator, turn it on. And let's try elevating. Elevate. 
elevate. There we go. <laughs> that painted platform looks fantastic. Very good. And that's it. Works out pretty perfect. So we're ready to continue progress on this third and final floor. Let's paint this entire uh, floor, uh, all six regions in tan, just like we did for the second. Nice and bright. Speed that up for you freaks. How do you like that? Pretty good. Okay, so the next step involves some pillars. We are going to extend the pillars on the front up by one. And I'm going to have to make some choices here. These are This is going to be framing in a greenhouse that we're going to be building entirely with that greenhouse glass, an actual greenhouse. And I think we want to do all four corners of it. So let's grab a metal fence foundation. Now, the stone fence foundation could work again. We're going to have whatever one you use. You're going to have something sticking through into that greenhouse glass below, and you'll have that pillar sticking halfway through. Um, so this is a choice. You could choose not to do this, and it'll make the second floor look a little cleaner. But try and get the outer snap point. Go ahead and throw another pillar in there. And that's going to frame in a greenhouse. Now that we've done that, I think we might as well just go ahead and extend these back two pillars up by one as well. All right, let's break out the tan paint, all six regions. Um, we'll continue the pillars uh, to match the ones that are under them. All right, I think we're looking good here, guys. Let's back up and take a little look. All right, so that is it. Get ready for some greenhouse glass on the second floor. Um, a little bit of metal walls on either side, and we're gonna continue that line that we have below. It'll help frame things in, and we're actually gonna match that on the back because we've had metal walls going all the way up on the sides on either side of the front and back. And we're gonna have a little bedroom here where the elevator comes up, so let's do a little C-shape of metal, like so. We'll do it on either end. All right. Okay, so this is how we're looking with the first metal walls for our second floor. Now we break out the greenhouse glass. All right, so this is the section I mentioned. We may play around with the paint scheme. The light blue may become green, the green may become light blue, but for now we'll leave it as is, and we'll go ahead and put them on the ends here. So this is where your greenhouse is gonna be. We're actually gonna have some glass on the sides on this floor, like this and make sure those line up with each other. I'm having issues. We get it? We got it, okay. Looking good. Now, uh, we are going to be adding a pointed roof. Uh, so this resembles a greenhouse. So go ahead and do sloped walls right and left on either side here, and we'll go do that on the other end as well. All right, something that looks like that. So. Uh, now we need to uh, do the transition from the bedroom to the greenhouse. So we'll start with a greenhouse glass door right there in the middle. Uh, and for the bedroom, uh, you're going to want greenhouse glass walls on those inner portions uh, lined up with each other. So three greenhouse glass pieces across the uh, segment that connects you to the uh, greenhouse. And then same thing on the back uh, as we've done below, framing in the elevator platform. And then here you could do a door, but we're building up to a second level because we're actually going to have a sloped roof going in the opposite direction for the bedroom segment. So we're going to use metal walls, the sloped ones, and we're going to do it like this. I know you're curious how this shape is going to play out, but stick with me. You're going to want to do them here on the inside as well. And then we get to start placing some roofs, I think. So that is how it should be looking. I know I sped through that section of the build, guys. So hopefully you haven't missed anything too key. Uh, let's grab our stone walls. We do need to finish up this elevator section back here. So we'll need sloped walls and a sloped ceiling as well. All right, so walls on either side, all three sides, like we've done previously. Perfect, and then we'll add a uh, right slope over here and a left slope on the other side. And then we'll finish it all off with a sloped wall, sorry, sloped uh, roof. Perfect. And now this section, we can actually cover up that little space in there. Where the elevator track is, we cannot. So this is going to be temporary, and I think this should work. So place a little ceiling, stack a couple walls on top, and then we should take this out, and nothing falls. Beautiful. So we've covered that up. That looks good. I like that. So a lot, basically this whole upper level is getting sloped greenhouse glass roofs. You're going to need a lot of crystal and a lot of cementing paste to get this thing looking good. Um, and... 
This, we're going to start with the greenhouse. Now, when you intersect roofs like we do here, you got to place the left first. So let's place this one and then this one. This only works in vanilla, not in Structures Plus. Just a FYI. And if you're having trouble with this, it's not a step that's absolutely necessary. So place the left side first. Uh, and let's get it lined up properly before we do with that outer edge like that. And then place the right. So this one here. If you do it the other way around, it will not work. And I like to say this, guys, if you're having trouble, every time I do a tutorial, there's parts of the build people struggle with. If you do, don't just leave your help me comments below. Uh, you can join my Discord chat. There is a link for that in the description. And there's a whole section called building advice. It's called the Geese Discord. It's run by me and my buddy, Arali, and it's home to our fans and our Patreon supporters. Um, so go check that out. And if you need help with your builds, don't just ask me. Get help from a whole community of passionate builders. All right, that looks great. All right, it's time for some paint, guys. And I can't believe I waited this deep in the video to do it. But I always like to ask, if you build this in your world, you have to show it to me. Because you're going to do a different paint scheme. You're going to build it in a different location. Um, and we're just going to fly through these segments. You know how to paint the stone. You know how to paint the metal at this point in the build. Um, you got to tweet at me, at Unite the Clans, or use the hashtag Bob Ross of Arc, And I will see it. I will find it. Um, you're going to do your own paint scheme. It's going to look fantastic. And speaking of paint scheme, I have decided to change the front here, guys. So what was blue becomes green. Once again, we're painting all six regions. And what was blue, uh, what was green down below is going to become blue. So uh, this is going to look better. It took me a while to figure out how to do this, but we're going to use the light blue on the bottom to frame it in, and the greenhouse is going to be built almost entirely in light blue, including you're going to want uh, to paint the greenhouse glass here, all six regions, but we're going to actually go to region one only, and we're going to paint, for the first time ever, a metal wall in blue. So this metal wall, do not bother painting those detail pieces in the gold. Leave them silver. I think it looks good. And gold, by gold I mean tan. And now all six regions paint every bit of that greenhouse in the sky blue. Let's do it up. So we got to add in a couple little details. We painted the, the metal walls on the outside in this light blue. Let's do it for the inside here as well. Um, and I think this is going to look good. It's a little bit of a tough call, but let's go ahead and do that. Like so. And then go back to painting the greenhouse glass, all six regions. Oh, wow. I'm stoked. So I painted everything in the sky blue. Uh, this greenhouse glass up here. There is no green. The only green greenhouse glass is on that second floor, and the only sky blue metal is framing in the greenhouse. So I was coming in and out of this roof like crazy. Now, uh, if you guys find the need to do the same, you're going to have to do stone. There is no greenhouse glass hatch frame, as far as I know. So we'll do stone, and we're going to paint it uh, in brown to match all six regions, just like I so. Perfect. And we might as well do these walls while we're in here. We might be done with the paint scheme, guys. A uh, little bit of tan paint. At some point, I replaced this pillar here. So guys, uh, this place originally, uh, we did uh, a really sick interior to it. Now you guys are going to do your own thing for the interior. And it's it's long enough already. We're probably a half an hour right now. So instead of doing step by step my version of the interior, I'm going to do up my interior. I will tour you around it when it's done. And when you tweet at me at Unite the Clans, I want to see what you do with this interior. You can see big enough to fit a rhino. Beautiful looking PVE build like all of mine are. I know it's made of crystal. It will not survive in PvP, but that's how this place looks. So geeks, we are going to roll into one more break. And when you come back, you are going to see that fully decked out interior from the intro with those vaults stacked on vaults with a fully functioning greenhouse. So don't go anywhere. Hang out and we will finish this build together. And welcome back, guys. We are finally complete. This is it, the final segment. Thank you for hanging out with me for the longest build guide I've ever done. Check it out. Room for a rhino and plenty of height too. It's not like I'm hitting my head coming through here. The original one had two vaults on either side. Vaults used to be huge and you couldn't paint them. 
Faults are now tiny, and you can. So instead of two on each side, we have 10 on each side. Um, they've given them a paint scheme to match the rest of the build, and I've done it with those uh, metal catwalks there. Those are painted fully in brown as well. And to frame this in, uh, because I had to have those catwalks, what we've done is add in a little bit more detail. I've got pillars running through here and metal walls with our standard metal wall paint scheme to frame it in. Now I think it is time we take a look out the back. I've added doors um, and some plumbing. So that door did a little paint scheme on it. Same thing, did this one to match. And if we poke our heads in this little generator room, you will see that there's now not just wiring, but plumbing running all the way up to our third floor greenhouse. There it is, right behind that elevator platform track. And let's poke our heads back outside. I wish you could paint these, but you still can't. Those collect rainwater and feed this whole thing. I think it is time we use the elevator of the elevator workshop. Let's try this thing out. God, it is so exciting when a build comes together when you finally finish it and it looks the way you want it to look. You guys have been asking for this one for a very long time. People have, and we're finally here. Okay, we need to go a little bit higher. Okay, perfect. So... The second floor is all about crafting, and I've tried to keep all the key stations right next to the elevator. You've got your forges, you've got your fabricator, you've got your chemistry bench, all right here within reach. So you, if you're encumbered, if you're cucumbered, you don't have to get off. Uh, and I went and added these lights. You don't get the full effect of them until night, um, but when nighttime is is here, they light up the metal. Uh, the sorry, the stone of that back elevator. Uh, track encasement and then on either side i added in a fridge you've got some wires kind of going through i couldn't find a good spot for the fridges so i hope you like and then we went crazy with the forges like i said i want them to be close enough so that if you're encumbered you can reach them load and unload and then back here um i took the, the piping that runs all the way up to the greenhouse and i brought it down to do this industrial grill uh, sorry the industrial cooker and then in front we got an industrial grill gashed up ready to go Check that out. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I did a little detail metal railings behind the forges. Uh, and speaking of detail, let's go up to the bedroom. All right, so this is where the elevator stops. You don't need to do it yourself. Um, so we got a bed, a little bit of storage, and I added in a little bench. This is where you sit down, take off your boots at night, that kind of thing. And then over here, I just tried to fill space. That's a bench with the trophy wall mount. Looks okay. And then same thing with this little freak, fill in some space. Um, there's an amazing view out this window, so I figured if there's a good spot for a desk, this is it. Check that out. All right, and now, le pièce de résistance, fully functioning greenhouse, 12 crop plots. Growing some long grass, growing some amber berries, and um, everything gets a 300% effective um, but a buff from the greenhouse and we've got plumbing up top. This is fed by rainwater, which is why it's not running right now. We added in this, a little preserving bin and a mortar and pestle. Guys, this is it. Let's take the elevator down to the main floor. I'm so happy with the way this has turned out. We got to zoom out. We got to take a good look at this thing and see it in all its glory. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button for the Bob Ross of Ark. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. This has been the Elevator Workshop Building Tutorial. Geeks, I'm Unite the Clans. And popping up on your screen right now is a playlist for all of my building tutorials. If you're new, if this is the first one you've seen, dive into that and watch all of them. They're the thing I do best. All right, geeks. Thank you for watching. I'm UTC, and I will see you in the next build guide.